Hey, it's Reg the Louisiana Hobby Guy. So black, white, gray, 20 watt fiber, what does all that mean? <laughs> well, I have been diligently working on uh, library settings for you guys, really for me, <laughs> on anodized aluminum. And uh, these are, I guess I can't hold it that way. These are some of the, the test grids that I've been running and um, you know, you have to run test grids in order to dial in your power settings, your frequency, your speed, and all that kind of good stuff. So, um, I think most, you know, not most, but a lot of people don't realize how important a test grid is. So, today my goal was I have a customer, even though I don't do uh, customer orders anymore, uh, I'm, I'm doing one, you know, just as a favor for an attorney in New Orleans. And I used to do, a long time ago, I used to do his business cards all the time out of these anodized aluminum. And I get these, I get these for a uh, hundred of them for I think $16, something like that. And uh, I charge um, $125 for a hundred business cards. And they mainly only go to, you know, the upper class uh, doctors, lawyers, um, CEOs, things like that. When they want to give out a business card to impress somebody, uh, as an example, this attorney has his regular business card folder in his suit. And on one side, he's got the aluminum cards and on the other side, he's got the paper cards. So, um, you know, it's it's a uh, sort of like a dress to impress kind of thing. But there is a big market for these cards out there, I'm, I'm going to tell you, especially like in high-end car dealerships like, you know, Cadillac, Lincoln, Mercedes, uh, you know, some of the higher-end cars where money's no object. So, okay, so what about the the white, black, uh, <laughs> white, black, black, silver? Okay, white, black, silver, gray, actually, but I haven't gotten to the gray part yet. So on these cards, uh, I, I, he wants a uh, logo uh, of the Fleur de Lis, which is like the, the state logo with some kind of maybe football design around it, which uh, I did a couple of years ago for him on another project. So he wanted me to reuse that graphic, um, but he wanted the center of it to be in white. So uh, what I had to do was I had to figure out, uh, <laughs> you know, it's sort of haphazard the way I've been using my fiber laser. And uh, the last week or two, I've really buckled down and I've started um, putting together these test grids and for all different materials. And yeah, I got, I got the base library off of uh, Alex's website, Laser Everything, and I used the conversion to convert it to my 20 watt. But you know what? None of those settings work. So... Um, I'm revamping this entire library as much as I can. And then the things that I don't do, I'm just going to delete out of them. In the end, it's going to be my own library since none of those settings work for me on my Rekus source. Um, so uh, this is uh, I'm putting together my own library. And that's pretty much the reason for this video um, is to explain to you that you do have to put together your own library you have to test the materials that you're going to use uh, and in order to get the results that you're looking for at the speeds and powers that you want. So uh, not to make this introduction too long, uh, we're just going to jump right over into Lightburn and I'm going to show you an example of the graphic that I've redesigned and how I redesigned it to burn exactly the way this customer wants, or I should say this friend wants. So let's jump into Lightburn and get started. All right, so this is my test piece right here, and I've brought the camera out uh, over here so that you can see what's going on. Um, this test piece is not the original graphic. Let me come over here to my library. Mm, let's see. This is the original graphic right here. And let me show you what I did. And just, you know, you can do this with your graphics as well. Uh, with any graphic just about so what I did was I have to make the center white so I have to put that on another layer so I came up here and ungrouped it and then now in the fill mode uh, which if you 
uh, come up here to window and you go to filled smooth or filled course either one either one of those is going to give you a filled look on your screen so that everything doesn't look like like that you know you can actually see what the design is going to look like without having to preview it you can also come up here into the settings and if you come up here in the settings there's a button right here that says filled rendering you can turn that one on if you want to either way but anyway so what did I do here I just ungrouped it that's all I've done and I need that center part to be white so what I did was <laughs> very simply drag that center part off drag this one off delete it and put this one back and that's all I did <laughs> really really simple now if you hold control and grab it by the middle you can do little tiny movements on it to get it just perfect and then all I did was put it on the blue layer like that you see so uh, really easy and you can do the same thing with other parts of the graphic as well uh, put them on different colors and I really like that because let me show you oops I left a couple pieces there let me show you what um, I did here so I've been working on this library like I told you and over here I've got a couple different colors that uh, I'm gonna use for these aluminum business cards and they're gonna be uh, it's gonna be white gold dark gold light gold uh, medium gold silver you know stuff like that so I've already done some images up here as you can see dark gold image uh, light gold image we're not using an image today today we're doing vectors so uh, in here I've used the bright white setting uh, for that blue layer and let me show you so if we come up here um, so now the first one is the black as you can see right here so on the black layer I've got 120 and 30 uh, on that black layer we want to have dark gold so if I come over here to dark gold and I edit that you'll see that it is 120 speed 30% power and 80 kilohertz the frequency so that is my I guess you call it my preferred gold I, I think that one came out the best now I have some other golds that came out much higher speeds up to you know seven uh, eight hundred millimeters a second but this was the color that I liked the best so that's the black and then if we come over to here you see we have this one at 1065 and that is my bright white and if I come over here to edit you'll see it's 1065 the frequency is 25 and this one has a cross hatch I get a light white when it does the first pass at zero degrees and I get a bright white when it does the second pass at 90 degrees and you'll see that in a minute so um, that's my setting for that one and then finally uh, I've got this green line around here just to show you that the silver color and if you look at silver over here let's take a look at the green you'll see it's 1000 speed 50 power and 20 uh, frequency and this one is only 254 lines uh, per inch whereas uh, let me see what, what the other ones were. Yeah, 254. That's all really neat on the vectors is 254 as opposed to uh, over here on the images, I run them at 800, 800 DPI. So um, these are all my vector tests that worked out that from these test grids that I did, I picked what I thought to my eye was the best color what you think is the best color to your eye well that's another story so <laughs> that's why you have to run these these test grids so let's go ahead and get started and I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk to the back right now and uh, I'm gonna drop a, a business card on here we're gonna run this job so you can see it I'm gonna drop a business card on turn on the machine it's gonna get noisy in here I have to turn on the um, the smoke extraction and uh, by the way um, don't worry about it being an open bed like this my smoke extraction on the fiber laser is below the table there's a four inch cutout in the bottom of the table and there is a four inch hose that comes up so all of the um, holes that you see here are sucking in my from my smoke extractor and that is 1100 cfms 
So there's never a bit of smoke, dust, nothing. The dust stays right on the bed, as you can see there. Uh, it doesn't even expand out. You know, all of the area out here is clean. You only see a little bit of dust right here. But uh, yeah, so that's all safe. So I'm going to go back there and start, make some noise, <laughs> and we'll get started. Now it sort of sounds like a hurricane in here, and that's all those those holes sucking uh, the air through. But uh, let's go ahead and we've got everything set up here. We're good to go. So let's come over here to the laser and hit start. And you'll see that it automatically starts to frame. And if you look closely, don't that line back there on that bar is just a reflection. If you look really closely in this corner, you can see that the border is in the right spot. And I know it's kind of hard to see in the video, but my frame is right here. So I don't have to frame because I've already done the framing before and I've put my, my uh, tool path up here so I know exactly where to design. So what we're going to do is we're just going to hit the, the start button, let this run. Let me close this and get it out of the way. If you look here at this, you see the locks, the, the crosshairs. That means that graphic is locked. So that is my framing graphic. Now, if uh, when, when I was setting this up, I put these two blocks, aluminum uh, blocks on here or stops. And then I selected this graphic. I did start where it started to frame. And then I used my arrow keys to move it so that the framing was lined up exactly over here on the, these two blocks. So very simple to do. So now you can see the gold takes a lot longer um, because it's a much slower speed. And I guess I could have done a, a higher speed, but, um, you know, the text goes pretty quick. There you can see the two passes on the white, and there is the white center. And then here comes the silver border around the outside. And I'll just go pick this one up. So after all is said and done, <laughs> um, this is what we get. And I think it's absolutely beautiful that this is a uh, wonderful look. I think he's going to be very happy with it. I'm going to send him a picture of just the logo. I'm going to redo this again. Send him a picture of just the logo and uh, see what he thinks of it. I hope that light isn't distorting this image. Um, I'll, I'll throw up a, an actual photograph of it anyway. But uh, you can see that the outer box is silver. So we've got the silver on the outer box. We've got the white text. We've got the white center of the floor de lis and the gold graphic itself. So uh, I think that looks pretty awesome, you know, on these business cards. You saw, you saw the time that it took to run this job. Uh, it was complete job completed in one minute and ten seconds now There is going to be a lot more writing on the business cards But the writing doesn't really matter if that's just a couple seconds. This graphic is going to be much smaller uh, There's going to be two little graphics the, this one here and another one one in each corner and then the the letters in between so it's probably going to be about 50 seconds 55 seconds something like that maybe even less, maybe 45 seconds for the whole uh, project um, for the final business card. So let's say a minute, let's stretch it out to a minute. I do a hundred of these, that's a hundred minutes. It's a little over an hour and a half. Uh, in an hour and a half, you take a, a box of $16 business cards, turn them into 125 bucks. How, how could it get any better than that? 